So you're having trouble getting your headset microphone working on your PC. Well, there's a lot of different things that could be causing it not to work. And there is no way that I can cover them all in this video. But in my experience, the vast majority of issues are software related. So in this video, I'm going to go over a handful of the most common things that could be causing your problem uh, and what you can do to get your mic working. This is Maraxos Reviews and How To's. My name is Brian. Let's get started. This is not the first video I've made on this topic. The first one I made dealt with a problem I experienced after a Windows 10 update, uh, which I've linked to in the cards as well as in the video description if you'd like to check that one out. Uh, my second video dealt with headsets that use 3.5 millimeter audio cables. Uh, if you're using a headset with a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, I recommend checking that video out and making sure you understand that there's a difference between headsets with a single 3.5 millimeter audio connector and headsets that have separate headphone and mic connectors and that different jacks are required on your PC for them to plug into for them to work properly. There are adapter cables you can buy if your PC and headset don't have the same connections, but that's what my other video addresses, so go and watch that one for that stuff. As for this video, I want to start off first by looking at the easiest solutions and then move on from there. If your mic isn't working on your headset, the first thing I'd say to check is make sure your mic isn't muted. Many headsets have a button on them or switch you can toggle to mute and unmute your mic. There's nothing that will make you feel like more of an idiot than spending hours changing settings and uninstalling and reinstalling drivers and other software and then find out all you needed to do was unmute your mic. Not that I know anything about that. If your mic isn't muted and it's still not working, the next thing I'd do is go to the bottom right hand corner of your Windows desktop and click on the speaker icon here and then go up to this field where it tells you which audio device you're currently using. Click on it and if you're using a USB headset, assuming all USB headsets work similarly to mine, your headset should show up on this list and you can select it. My headset is the Corsair Void Pro and when I select it, all my audio gets switched over to my headset. This next portion of the video is for headsets that use a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. So if you are using a USB headset, I'll place a time code on the screen when I'm editing this video to let you know where to skip ahead to. Okay, now if you have a headset that uses a 3.5 millimeter audio cable like this one, I don't think you're going to see your headset listed here because Realtek should automatically switch the audio from going to your speakers to your headset so you want to just keep it on speakers. At least that's the way it works for me on my PC. When you plug your headset in, you may or may not get a pop-up similar to this, which will ask you what was just plugged in. On my desktop PC, this always pops up, but on my laptop, it never does, even though I have the option enabled for that pop-up to appear. If the pop-up appears, be sure to select the option for what you plugged in. Since I'm using a 4-pin TRRS jack, mine first asks if a mic was just plugged in. Uh, there are some other choices here, but since I'm plugging in a headset with a mic attached to it, I just want to leave it on mic in and click OK. It then pops up a second dialog box asking if headphones were also plugged in. Again, I have other choices here, but I just want to leave it on headphones and click OK. If your PC has or headset uses two 3-pin TRS jacks, then you'll plug those in separately and then answer the question for each device you plugged in. If you're sitting there thinking, what is this guy talking about right now? Then you should go watch my video that explains the difference between 3-pin TRS and 4-pin TRRS 3.5 millimeter audio connectors, which is popping up in the cards right about now. All right, so you've got your headset properly connected and the proper audio device selected but it's still not working correctly. Let's hit the Windows key on our keyboard and type in Realtek. It should bring up the Realtek Audio Console app or Realtek Audio Manager or something like that. You'll want to select that and open up the Realtek control panel. Now your Realtek interface may look very different than mine here, but you should have similar options. 
Under microphone, you should have a slider or something to control the recording volume and should have a checkbox or button to mute the microphone there. Uh, make sure your mic isn't muted and your recording volume is all the way up. While you're here, you can also look at the device advanced settings and make sure those settings are how you want them. Uh, here at the top, I have the option to disable the pop-up when I plug stuff in. Uh, below that, I have my back panel and front panel audio connections. On the rear panel of my PC, I only have my speakers plugged in, so that's why it's the only thing I can actually click on and change. I can select it to be a speaker or headphones, one or the other. As for my front panel connectors, the green one is for an audio out, which I currently have set as headphones, and the pink is set as a mic in. As I go further down, we have some options for the playback and recording devices. The default for playback device is usually to have the front and rear output devices playback the same audio stream, uh, but you can change it where the front and rear jacks play different audio if you feel like it. I just leave it on the default setting to keep things simple. Uh, the same thing goes for the recording device. You can make the front and rear jacks independent of each other, but I like to just leave it where it ties up all the input jacks as the same device. If that doesn't fix your problem, then the next thing I'd look at is the sounds menu in Windows Control Panel. So let's hit our Windows key again and then type in Control Panel and hit Enter. When this window pops up, click on Hardware and Sound and then click on Sound. You should now be looking at a window like this. Click on the recording device tab and if you're using a USB headset mic, it should show up here. And if you're using a 3.5 millimeter headset mic, it should also show up like mine does here as microphone Realtek audio. If your mic does not show up on this list, try right clicking in the window and select the option to show disabled devices. If your mic is disabled for some reason, it should then show up in the list and you can right click on it and select enable. Uh, make sure your headset mic is set as your default recording device and you should be good to go. If you're using a laptop with a built-in microphone, that should also show up on this list. Oftentimes laptops will have the built-in mic set as the default recording device and will use it rather than your headset mic, so you may need to set your headset mic as the default rather than the built-in mic. At this point, you should see the green bars light up over here when you talk. If you're not seeing any action there, then click on your mic and then click Properties. In this window, we want to click on the Levels tab and make sure your mic is not muted and adjust the level of the microphone. There's also a microphone boost here, but I don't mess with that if I don't have to. In the Listen tab, you can test to see if your mic is working by clicking the Listen to this device checkbox and then clicking Apply. Once you click Apply, you should be able to hear yourself talking through your headset. I typically just use this to make sure my mic is working and then uncheck the box and exit out. If you've done these things and your mic is working in sounds, but not in the games you play or the applications you use, then it may be the Windows privacy setting that is causing your problem. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned I made a video about getting my mic working after a Windows 10 update made it quit working. Uh, the Windows privacy setting ended up being the cause of that problem. And you can go check that video out if you want, but I'm gonna do a quick rundown right now to save you some time. Once again, let's hit our Windows key on our keyboard and then type privacy settings. You then want to go to microphone over here on the left side of the screen. On this screen, we're going to give permission for other applications on our computer to use our microphone. Right here, you can see it says that microphone access for this device is off. So I'm going to click change and toggle it to on. Below that is another toggle for allowing applications to access your mic. In order for applications like Discord or the in-game chat and the games you play to work, you need to toggle this to on as well. If you're feeling adventurous, you can then go down this list and choose specific Windows apps you want to grant permission to. And if you keep scrolling, you should see another toggle under the heading, allow desktop apps to access your microphone. This you also want to make sure is set to on. Another thing I'll do if the mic is working fine in sounds and control panel but not in my applications is to go into those specific applications and switch the input and output devices to my headset. 
Uh, for example, in Discord, I'll go into the settings under voice and video, and instead of leaving the input and output device on default, I'll switch it to my headset or other specific headphones and microphone that I happen to be using. Hopefully, one of these things will help you get your mic working again. In my experience, uh, usually one of them or a combination of a couple of them uh, will get it working properly. If you've tried all this stuff and your mic still isn't working, uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll try my best to see if I can help you. Uh, if I can't, uh, perhaps another viewer uh, will come along and share something that worked for them. Uh, on the flip side, if this video helped you get your mic working, please leave a comment and share your experience. I would love to hear about it. Well, it is about time that I wrap this video up. So if you found the video helpful, please do all that usual YouTube stuff as it helps me out a lot. Uh, click the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends who may be in need of some help. And if you're interested in checking out more content from me, uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you really enjoy what I do here on the channel, I also invite you to check out my Amazon store at the link in the video description where you can purchase some of the cool products that I feature in my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Later.